Hello everybody, it's Miss Amy. I'm in the new garden here at home and I'm going to give you a quick video tour of how things are doing. The big question this week has been, how are the new crops coming? They're doing really well. The rain that we had last night and today is just under a third of an inch and that is going to help tremendously to have these beds soaked all the way through because I can't do that when I'm watering by hand. Um, these are the green beans that are called Strike. This is a new variety for me this year. They are absolutely loaded with blossoms and there's tons and tons of itty bitty baby green beans like that. That thing dangling on the end, for those of you that wonder, that is the spent flower. So the green beans are doing great. The next batch of green beans is also looking pretty good. They got wind whipped a little bit today. And the last batch of beans went out on the 4th of July and they are up and doing well. Tomatoes, let's talk about tomatoes. I have held my price on the tomatoes since I opened in 2016, and I'm sad to say that I'm gonna to have to raise the price on them a little bit this year. Um, I know that I'm far below market on them, and I know that you love them, and you know I want to have affordable, fresh, good quality produce for you, but it comes with a cost. Not only um, has the cost of seed gone up, um, but my cost to put in this garden um, this year also the cost for me to set up my own seed starting chamber so that I can do these tomatoes and peppers from seed at home on my own um, is in play here this year as well. These are the determinant tomatoes that set all of their fruits within a handful of weeks and then we have all of these come ripe at about um, the last part of July and into the first part of August. They're loaded. They've got tons of blossoms on the tops. For those of you that do canning or want to make salsa, the Big Mama, which is a Roma style tomato, these have lots of fruit on them and this is fairly early for them. Look at those. All of these Big Mama plants have quite a few fruit on them and are setting blossoms again as well. The peppers are doing great. If you missed the farm stand on the porch today, I did have the first of the banana peppers, the first jalapenos, and the first three bell peppers. And that doesn't sound like much, but when you've been anticipating and waiting and wondering if they're going to actually produce, um, that was pretty cool. It's a lot coming. The banana peppers are loaded already. Tomatoes, I know you want to see tomatoes. These are the big beef tomatoes. These are the typical slicers that we have at the farm stand. There are a lot of fruits in there. There are a lot of flowers setting at the tops. I think we're going to have a fairly good harvest this year. Some nice sized tomatoes down near the bottom where the first fruits were set. These are the same variety here on this end of the row. They need to double or more than double in size. Once they start to get kind of a, they blush to a little bit of a white color and then they'll go red. Um, but we still have two weeks, three weeks maybe, just depends on what the weather does. For those of you that want San Marzano Roma tomatoes, I think we'll have them earlier than normal. There are a lot of fruits in here. I need to prune these. Monday is maintenance day. Nice size San Marzano's in there. So they're coming. They're coming, that's for sure. Again, we've had really good mild weather this week. We've had some rain. Things are in pretty good shape. So that's the update from the garden here at home. I am going to go back to the original garden and do a walkthrough and see how things are there. And I'll try to do another video update from there. Thanks for watching.